Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my hair growth, natural hair remedies. Um, this is a new series on my channel. I have been doing a ton of research on things that will help my hair grow naturally and healthy. Um, and a lot of that research is coming from women who have naturally um, dark curly hair. Um, and so I thought that I would try some of these hacks and remedies on my Caucasian uh, sort of type 2 hair. So um, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button. My name is Jess and I do, like I said, hair and beauty videos twice a week. Um, today's video is going to be all about fenugreek and how I've used the fenugreek tea and mask in my hair in the last 24 hours to get the results that I have. Um, my hair is super duper shiny, it's feeling amazing. If you guys want to see how I got this result and what I did uh, with fenugreek in my hair, then please just keep watching. Alright, so um, I'm literally just about to have my shower and I'm going to use my pre-prepared uh, fenugreek tea as a rinse um, and then I'm going to apply my deep conditioner afterwards. Um, and then I'm going to sleep in that overnight. Tomorrow I will wash it out. What I'm going to do with the actual fenugreek seeds, because you guys can see, um, these have expanded. Yesterday when I made this tea, um, I put these literally just in the bottom. So they've expanded a lot. And so what I'm going to do with the leftover fenugreek tea that I don't use um, and the seeds is I'm actually going to blend them up into a paste and use that in my deep conditioner today. So we're going all out for the deep, for the fenugreek. Um, I've heard a lot, a lot of research on fenugreek and I thought I would give it a go. Week one is going to be testing out fenugreek, um, first testing out fenugreek tea and uh, fenugreek seed mask on my hair overnight. So let's take my hair out of its braid because like I said, I'm just going to have a shower. So let's give you a before. But this is my before. It actually is not that bad considering how greasy it is um, and how sweaty it is. So this is day four hair. Or day three hair, sorry. This is day three hair. Um, a little bit naughty, kind of gross. So we are going to go and I'm going to go rinse my hair out uh, just to wet it. And then I'll be back um, to show you me applying my tea. Um, and then we'll go down to my kitchen so I can show you how to apply, um, how I make the mask. So I'm going to go and shower now and I will be back um, soon. Okay, so I have drained my fenugreek uh, tea and I have put it into this spray bottle which I'm going to apply to my whole head. I've also made the fenugreek mask which I'm going to use uh, tomorrow. So I've read a lot of research and it says that leaving this in for an hour max is enough. Um, trying to leave it in overnight could actually be more detrimental than it could be helpful. So I've made the mask with those leftover fenugreek seeds and I am just going to store this in some little like jars. Um, you can keep these in the fridge for up to a month, I believe. Um, so whatever I don't use tomorrow can be kept in the fridge. Following the fenugreek spray, I am going to I'm going to do my usual hair mask oil routine. I have my hair oils mixed up in here, and I'm, today I'm just going to use the Strength and Restore Treatment Mask from Shea Moisture, um, and then I will leave that in overnight. I'll come back tomorrow, and we will um, apply the fenugreek mask and leave it in for an hour tomorrow and then wash it out. So I'll come back tomorrow to do that with you, but let's um, apply the fenugreek spray. Okay, um, so I've just swapped the fenugreek tea into a better spray bottle because the one that I had was just not great. This is one of those um, slow mist ones and we are just going to apply this to my whole head and scalp. So this is really like a wide mist. While I'm doing this, let me know in the comments down below uh, if you have used fenugreek tea and, or a fenugreek mask and what your experience with it is. If you guys were wondering, I, um, I'm looking to grow my hair. I had a really bad haircut 
not that long ago. I'll leave the link to that video up the top where I talk about it. Um, and I am trying to sort of grow it back um, to the length that it used to be. I think that's all of my hair completely saturated. I'm just going to take a wet brush and brush that all through to make sure it's fully distributed. Okay, now I'm going to go apply my usual hair mask um, as I do. I actually have a video talking about my usual deep conditioning uh, treatment routine. I'll leave that video up here if you guys want to see that. Um, but I'm going to go apply my hair mask and my hair oils and I'll be back once I've sort of braided my hair. I am back. My hair is in these braids. Um, super messy. Which is fine because all they are going to be in is for sleeping and for working out tomorrow. Um, tomorrow for working out I'll just pin them up. But for sleep, they'll just stay like this. My hair will just naturally dry, um, and I'll leave it like this overnight. So, for tomorrow, I'll be back. Um, I'm going to put the leftover of my fenugreek tea and my fenugreek mask in the fridge. Um, and I will be back tomorrow for the application of my fenugreek mask before my shower. And then we will see the final results tomorrow. So, um, I will be back for you guys. It will be in a second, but for me, it's tomorrow and we will see how we feel. Hi guys, we are back from the gym. It is the next day. This uh, mask of fenugreek tea and my essential oils and my like uh, oil deep treatment has been sitting in my hair overnight. It is in these two braids, which I've just clipped up out of the way. Still in these two braids. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it. My hair is really hard. <laughs> it's just set. Um, so before I apply the fenugreek, mask which has been sitting in my fridge overnight and looks like this just smells like essential oils because I put essential oils in there um I am actually going to rinse my hair first we're going to rinse my hair first and then I'm just going to chuck on like a quick little like onesie um to sit around in for the next hour or so that I leave this okay, we're back. I've quickly rinsed my hair off I am not naked I promise I'm weary like a quick bodysuit anyway I quickly rinsed my hair off. Um, I did not wash it, so I do still have the treatment in it. I'm just drying it with an old towel um, that I'm going to wash. Um, so I'm going to apply the fenugreek solution or the fenugreek mask, and then I'm going to put my hair up in a shower cap for one hour um, before I go in and do my full wash routine. So, like I said, this is the mask. It's been sitting in my fridge overnight. I made it yesterday, um, and now whatever I don't use will go back in my fridge for another day in my uh, cycle. So, I'm not sure how this is going to go. It is a really, like, almost like a moussey texture. It's a really weird texture. But it's actually, it looks super thick, but it feels super slimy. Um, so it's very weird. It's a weird texture. But we're going to apply this throughout my whole head, up to my scalp, especially rubbed in up there. Um, I'm not using a whole lot, like this is sort of the amount I'm using per section and I've barely even like grazed the top of the jar. So just be wary of that um, in the way that this makes a lot of a uh, product. So make sure you really scrub that into your scalp underneath, on top, everywhere. Um, um, I also blended it so it was super duper fine so there's no like seeds throughout my hair. I really didn't want there to be seeds. I made sure that it was rubbed super duper fine. Um, I read that getting seeds in it is quite common. It makes it really difficult to, to wash out. So um, yeah, this is going to last me ages. Um, I think it's good in the fridge for, I think I read online at fenugreek in this form. It's actually good in the fridge for six months, no, one month, and good in your freezer for six. So, I mean, I guess as long as it sits nicely in my fridge, I'm not going to have any issues with keeping it in there and using this more regularly, as long as I can sort of see a good result. Um, now, while I'm doing this, let's talk about fenugreek itself. The smell, like I said, I put essential oils in it, so it really just smells like those. That being said, the fenugreek itself doesn't smell that bad. Um, I can understand where people say it sort of smells a little bit like maple syrup. It does have that weird, it does have a bit of a nutty smell to it, um, which could be considered quite sweet. 
Um, but I found that once I blended that up, that smell sort of disappeared um, and was just replaced by the essential oil smell. So um, I did, like I said, use a bit of essential oil in here just because it's good for my scalp, it's good for my hair, it's good for my overall hair growth, my overall scalp well-being. Um, and I wanted to make sure that I was utilizing all of that for my hair and scalp. Um, last little bit, just get underneath. Um, I wanted to make sure that um, it was in sort of going to be the best thing I could possibly do for my hair and scalp. So I've massaged this the whole way in. You guys can probably see it all sitting in here. Um, I'll use whatever I've got left and just apply it to the ends. Um, but with my shower cap, I'm leaving my ears out, which that is a personal preference because I have uh, new piercings in my ears and I really don't want them to get really irritated by the um, fenugreek. I'm not really sure what the effect having them sit on the fenugreek would have. So I've just had my hair up in a bun. I'm just going to put on a shower cap. This is just like a cheap $2 shower cap from the supermarket. Nothing exciting about it. I think it might go, it doesn't even have a brand on it. I think it's just like a home brand shower cap. And I am going to wrap this around my hair. Like I said, I am going to have my ears out so I can look like I'm from Lord of the Freaking Rings because I don't want my ears to be bothered by it. And I am going to let this sit in my hair for one hour before I rinse it out. So I will come back to you guys once I have rinsed my hair because I don't really think um, unless there's anything to update you guys on in an hour, I will be back after I have washed my hair and I will give you guys the full um, update on how it's feeling. So um, I'll also show you guys how much I actually used. So as you can see this, this container is like packed full and that is how much I used on my whole head. So um, not a whole lot of product considering it is very slippy. <clears throat> it has a very moussey gel like texture um, without the stickiness I suppose. Um, but it made my hair really easy to comb through and it was very easy to apply. So, like I said, that's, it was flat to the top, um, and this is how much I have. Right. Um, so I have showered, I've washed my hair, um, and conditioned, and that's it. I've not added any extra product in it, but I thought that I could give you guys a bit of an update on everything. So, obviously it's not dry and I'm going to sort of let it air dry. Um, but first thing I noticed after I had the fenugreek uh, mask in my hair and I put the shower cap on was the tingling. Um, there was a bit of a tingling sensation sort of in my scalp and sort of like around the bottom of my neck. Um, which obviously where some of the mask had obviously gone onto my skin. was not uncomfortable, didn't hurt, wasn't itchy, but it was like this weird like tingly feeling. Um, the next thing I noticed was how smooth my hair was when I got into the shower and I uh, started to brush it out. Um, and rinse it. Um, I have to say that getting the vinegar out was quite easy. There was no leftover seeds or anything in my hair. Um, I had read quite a bit that that was all about how you make your paste and how thick you make it, but I didn't find there was any issues with washing it out, which was another thing. Another thing is that I found that it was super duper easy to brush my hair in the shower. I use a wet brush. I have a shower version that has like a little hook on the bottom and I use that in the shower um, and I found that it was really easy to brush. Uh, I've used, I did my two shampoos and my conditioner. If you're wondering what my hair care routine is, I can leave um, my hair care routine video up uh, here on the cards, but I also use that. Um, as for now, like I said, I've shampooed and conditioned my hair and that's it. As you can see, there's no real knots in my hair. Uh, I haven't brushed it since I got out of the shower, so this is completely as is. Um, and yeah, I mean, it feels super smooth. I think the first thing that I noticed um, after rinsing it out was just how thick my hair felt and how healthy it felt and how full it felt. Um, and I think that was, it was a really obvious difference to me when I rinsed it out, just how good my hair actually felt. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but my hair is slowly growing out. I've been doing a lot to help it. But on the fenugreek, um, let's sort of rate the progress. So first of all, it was very, very easy to make. 
um, I let it sit and I made the tea overnight and I um, the next day just added some warm water as I was blending and obviously I used oils as well. Um, it was quite easy to get hold of and very affordable. I bought mine from iHerb, um, but you could buy them from other places. I can leave some links down below if you are interested. <coughs> the smell was fine. Like I said, I did use oils, some essential oils in there to help with the smell, but I didn't find it that bad to begin with. The tea itself just smelled very sort of like syrupy um, and nutty. Nothing crazy, not like rice water that's fermented where it's kind of like a really stinky smell. This doesn't have that issue. Um, it did make my hair feel really smooth and easy to brush. It was very easy to apply. It's not overly super thick, which I thought it would be because it looks thick, um, but it's actually very easy to apply. And obviously it is very nourishing for my hair. So my hair feels amazing. I haven't put anything in it yet. I will probably just put a heat protectant in it um, my leave-in conditioner heat protectant that I use every day, or every time I wash my hair, I should say, um, and that will be it. I'm not going to change any other products up because I really want to see the results um, with nothing else to hinder it. So this is my hair. It is probably 50% dry at the moment just from sitting in my hair towel. Um, if you guys want, I can link my microfiber hair towels down below. These are awesome for helping to dry your hair. So. I will come back and I think I will give you guys a final update um, once my hair is fully dry to give you guys the whole before and after. This is my second time filming this outro because my computer corrupted the footage. So this is the dried result of my fenugreek. As you guys can see my hair is super incredibly smooth, um, there's not really any frizz, there's no real flyaways. I've done nothing from the usual to my hair, I've done nothing to straighten it or smooth it, nothing, I've just let it air dry naturally and this is the result. So incredibly smooth, it's really soft, it feels really strong. Um, I still haven't even brushed it yet, so this is literally how it has dried, um, and I really, really am super impressed. So, if you guys are interested in trying fenugreek, I reckon 100% give it a go. Has it shown hair growth benefits? It's still probably a little early for that, but the hair benefits that it's had on my hair, the smoothing, the strengthening, all of that, that is very obvious to me. So. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more in this series. And let me know what you want me to try out next. Um, I've got a list of things that I'm going to try out that I have been uh, seeing on tons of natural YouTube channels. And so there will be plenty more of these coming. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.